Hey YouTube, today I'm uh, going to tell you about my favorite, well my favorite pine tree anyway, and how it can't grow at my house. So, here I, this uh, woods at my house is just a shelter belt really, outside of this is just field, and um, it's mostly just white spruce, but my grandpa also planted, when he made, when he made it, um, about six or eight white pines and as you can see this one is not very healthy it's actually it's actually the last one standing so I mean they grew I've seen pictures of them from back in the 80s and they were they were healthy looking when they were smaller and all just in the last four years of my life they've died you can see there's one here, there's one there. This is actually a white spruce that died for some reason, so I don't know if it has something to do with the exact. There was another white pine right there, and one there, and there's where the last one that I cut down was. Here's my tree house, my, the fifth grade construction project I had. But uh, I'm not sure if it's just the something else that happening here, ground contamination or bugs or something, because there was a row of elms stretching from here straight to that other stump. And so I don't know what the deal is here. But the nice thing is that as the once those pines got big, actually they put out a lot of seed, and as I walk around out in the woods. There's a ton of them. I keep finding more and more. That's why I've been telling everybody else not to mow back here. Because I'll just be walking and actually here I put, I just kind of flash transplanted some wild straw or raspberries. I'm going to see what, what becomes of it. But um, as I was doing that, one there, there was another one here somewhere. Oh, well, maybe I ended up getting dug up, but. Anyway, there's tons of them back here, and I'm, as they grow, I've been trying to, I've been leaving some, hoping they might give them another chance to grow here, putting flags up and stuff, but also I've been trying to transplant a lot of them to somewhere that they might grow. It's actually, my experience has been that they, as they grow, they look healthy when they're about this size, and then once they get to about four feet tall, I'll show you some of them back here. Once they get to about this height, they just wither. And I've done a lot of reading about them, and it said that they they need um that they're kind of a picky tree as far as sunlight because they don't want full sunlight yet they're not extremely shade tolerant either so I don't know but from my uh, observations there's only if you get uh, on my side of Lake of the Woods or Red Lake we just drew a line on the from the east or no the western shore of Red Lake and the western shore of uh, Lake of the Woods, you will not see any white pines sticking up over the trees any farther west than that. But once you get east of Lake of the Woods or south of Red Lake, they're a big part of the landscape and they're actually pretty much, I don't know, they might be my favorite tree, but it's hard to decide because there's so many trees. And um, it's the soil type that's the problem here. It's uh, it's not, well, it's heavier than they'd want. They like sandy soil, but also it's not as well drained. Because, um, here's some Norway pines. My grandpa also planted these. And I've always thought these were young. You know, if you look at this, you'd say, you know, that's a 10-year-old tree, 5-year-old tree. Well, I guess my grandpa pl uh, borrowed our little Ford tractor to a friend and uh, they used it to plant trees 
and when he brought it back there were just a few stuck on the blade and so he planted them and I don't know the exact year but my dad said that he was a kid so I guess these are like 40 years old um, not doing the best I suppose they got these cottonwoods crowding them out too but also there's the issue of the soil the only pine tree that's done well at our house at least out of this bunch, because the white pines did look good until they got about 40 feet tall. But this scotch pine, it's not native to North America, but they're a really pretty tree. That's the only one that's actually doing well. See, it's, I guess this one and the, and the other one were planted at the same time. So, anyway, that's the serious lupus, and I'm, uh, Telling you a little bit about my trees. So, see you later.